Okay, taking a quick look at our starting app, what we've got here is a app built with React Native Init or the React Native CLI. And in this, we've got two tabs. We've got an intro tab. All this says is welcome. That's all it's going to do throughout this entire course. On the other tab, we've got people. And people is going to use the Star Wars API to go ahead and get a list of people from that API. And from here, we can go ahead and click in and we can see a variety of details about that person. And then when we go through, we'll actually be able to set up going to a specific route via deep links or going to a nested route via those deep links. So looking at the code that we've got backing it up, as I said, we used React Native CLI to build this. So we've got the Android directory and the iOS directory, which are containing our native apps. All of our JavaScript code lives in the app directory. We've got an index.js, which serves as our entry point. This is where we're defining all of our navigation. So we've got our tabs our tab navigator, and then we've got a people stack, which represents this stack over here. And then we're just going ahead and displaying a simple stack for that intro screen as well. So we have a navigation bar. If we look into our screens directory, we can see the three screens that build our app. We've got our intro screen, which is the welcome one, our people list, which is going to be this screen here. You can see we're using hooks to go ahead, and grab the people from the Star Wars API or the Swappy API will then go ahead and store that and render it with a flat list. Upon press, we'll go ahead and use React Navigation to go to the person details screen. We're passing all of the details of that person over to this details screen, at which point we go ahead and render the person details. We've got a little map that just goes ahead and changes the actual property name that's returned from the API and change how it's actually displayed. So hair underscore color becomes hair color. And then we go ahead and just display all of that information in a simple scroll view. So it's a really, really basic app, uh, but it gives us a few different opportunities to try out different things with uh, integrating with deep linking and doing different things and how it interacts with React Navigation. So with that all covered, let's go ahead and start diving in.